<laughs> I was setting like and setting the mood. I'm uh, smoke cleansing myself out here. Uh, welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Today I have five art tools you need for the beginner art witch. Super fun, super easy. Some of them don't cost anything at all. Some of them you don't even need. Actually, all of these you don't even need. You can do art witchery so many different ways. And some art witchery costs absolutely nothing but your time, your energy, and maybe some foraging. But let's start off with something super easy. The first thing you would need is a drawing book. Just a blank page drawing book. Not a journal, just no lines, no nothing. Just something open, something with no tabs. Just something you can open up to any page no order, no numbered. You're going to write down your spell crafts, your art magic, your dreams, your hopes, your visions. You're going to look at maybe automatic writing messages, divination you may see, signs, symbols throughout the day. Collage it, magazines, print it out, paint it, write it, draw it, doodle it, sing it. Write down poetry, write down your dreams, visions. You wake up in the middle of the night, write it down, draw it out. You would like something with a little bit of a thicker pages that maybe you want to color in it, doodle in it, collage in it. This is going to be what my friend of mine called a mirror book. This is something that is a collection of yourself, very much like a book of shadows or grimoire. But this is going to be very much attuned to you, your personal attributes, your personal correspondences, things that represent you, things that you observe. Another thing, number two, that would be really good for you to, if you'd like, is to have an altar cloth, maybe that is painted by yourself, or you can get a friend to paint it or draw it on. And this altar cloth you could use to wrap up just special art tools that you would use Maybe you're a cooking art witch and you would have a special spoon that you would only use during certain ritual. Maybe you like painting and you have a very select few paint brushes that you would only use in your art magic and only use when you're invoking certain correspondences with each brush stroke. Those of you that don't like painting or don't color or maybe are seeing impaired, be a digital babe, you know, dictate it out, uh, write it out that way. You can sing it out, dictate it to your computer, print it out digitally on cardstock paper if you'd like or even regular paper. And then enchant your paper, infuse your paper, use coffee grounds, use tea, use different tea blends. I am actually drinking a friend's tea blend and I mixed it with hibiscus flowers. Jody, thank you so much. I'm enjoying your blend for the fourth pour. And, and it's I have infused in hibiscus on the top for this video. Um, Different things you could wrap when your tools when not in use. So that brings us to number three.
the water that you use is it moon water is it sun water is it charged up water is it charged up by different elements different herbs different flowers different crystals is it rain water is it river water is it ocean water is it fresh water from the mountains now different special art tools maybe you might have a quill a writing wand you may have special paint brushes or maybe a special smudge fe feather with a sigil painted on it you may have a smudge stick a palo santo something maybe again corporate the elements into it i've just named off air earth uh, air again fire now you may have a sound cleansing tool you may not like to use smoke cleansing or maybe you don't why would you have to use smoke cleansing each time you may use sound cleansing so whichever you'd like to use for that you can play some binary beats you can drum you can hum you can play some singing bowls i use singing bowls or a tuning fork now for water we talked about different water but what about what you put it in maybe it might be your favorite chalice or a cauldron maybe it's a leaf that you chose that you found dew and you collected dew in the morning and you're dipping your paintbrush in the dew there's so many different possibilities for your special art tools are you a sculptor are you a jeweler do you like doing wire wrapping anything you can think of are you a stitching witch are you a cooking witch are you a musician are you a poet are you a writer do you have a green thumb and maybe that is your gift what can you do to incorporate the greenery into your art witchery maybe you might harvest some leaves do some leaf rubbing like we did when we were in elementary school do a leaf rubbing and then write about your find look up the correspondences when you get home now we've talked about a drawing book the altar cloth to wrap your special tools in special art tools that you could use uh, you can create a wand and put a quill at the end of it and have it charged up remember i like using copper wire with a quartz crystal at the end charge up your writing stick maybe you can make a pencil out of that's charged up with different finery and different crystals and glue a bunch of crystals onto it and just have some fun with it charge it up any way you'd like now a fourth item is cleansing uh item and smoke by smoke and sound so smudge stick palo santo incense stick uh, anything with uh, anything with a high vibration charged crystals even can do it of course drumming we went over singing um, bells are great to use knocking stomping clapping your neighbors are gonna think you're crazy eh. They won't bug you just mow the lawn with a vacuum now and again and they won't come bug you so number five set the mood so set the mood with lighting set the mood with your ambiance with music do you need the silence that day do you need just quiet mm -hmm. now different music is going to invoke different inspirations in your creative thought process trance music to binary beats to indigenous drumming to some viking chants to some ritual music uh i wound up making some really cool artwork right one night to a friend's playlist and it was wild what came out of it and it wasn't my taste in music and I had some really, really cool stuff that came out of that vibe that night. 
So let the music take you. See where it takes you. See where it inspires your creative thought process. So going back, a drawing book, an altar cloth for your special tools, special art tools that you could use just for your art magic, cleansing, uh, whether it be smoke or sound, and then again, set the mood. So five simple things that you could do to help inspire the beginner art witch. Comment down below if you do something different or what brings you back to the basics for art magic. What do you use in your art magic before you start? Do you just, uh, do, you st do you have a cleanse? Do you smoke cleanse? Do you, do you like to uh, maybe put on a certain binary beat so that can clean the area? Uh, do you like to only smudge clockwise in your room and then yourself? When I smoke cleanse, I like to give to my head for creativity, my eyes for my sight. I like to give to my extra to my hands and to my heart. Now, I also give a smoke cleanse for the creativity in my hands and I will concentrate the smoke cleanse also over the tools or paint that I'm using or clay, whether it be moss or bark or trees, uh, pieces of pine cones, anything you're using in your craft, glue, why not? Give them all just a fresh little, just like, okay, this is your purpose today. We're not just crafting, we're not just making, uh, let's say we're not just making a wreath for the door, we're making a protection wreath for the door, you know. Put that extra little, make it witchy, make it cool, make it fun, make it a, make it witchy when you're crafting. Just what, how can you spin your crafts a little bit and power them up? activate them, charge them, just like a talisman. Well, thank you so very much for chilling out with me today. And as always, it is a pleasure hanging out with you and have yourself an absolutely magical day.